Hello everyone, welcome to another PlayStation 4 tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to fix PlayStation 4 uh, error code 8801330D. Now this is a remote play not connected error code and today I will just show you how you can fix it. So first of all, you need to know that if you plan on playing away from your PlayStation 4, you can make use of remote play feature. However, you need to have things that you should have to successfully do that. So you need to have an updated PS4 console. You need to have internet connected computer. You need to have good working PlayStation 4 DualShock wireless controller. And you need to have USB cable to connect to the controller to your computer or a compatible wireless adapter to allow PlayStation 4 wireless connection. You also need a PlayStation network account obviously and you need at least 15 megabytes or megabits download and upload internet connection speed for both the pc and playstation 4. now here are just some of the causes why playstation 4 remote won't connect obviously there are several uh causes internet connection is slow usually that can potentially uh you know happen or occur playstation 4 software is outdated that can also potentially happen Net type is strict or restrictive. Now, some users may encounter a connection to the server could not be established due to the net type issues on the PlayStation 4. Uh, so you should strive to have net type 1 open on your console, although net type 2 moderate is also okay. A random console or computer OS bug can also happen or local network issue or security software blocking the connection. Now, Usually, uh, you know, I researched for this error a long time ago and I actually found a very good, um, a very good solution to this. Uh, this is on the Reddit. It's two years ago, but it still works today. So as you can see, uh, try opening ports on your router for your PlayStation 5. As you can see, these are the ports right here. These worked for me. You can also do the other dude's suggested ports as well. It's working for me now. As you can see, got it working now. Thanks, peeps. Only downside that the app doesn't support the DualSense controller. And as you can see, it still works for the DS4 right here. But this is pretty much the article. If you want, I can link this article down below. You can comment if you want uh, me to link this article or not. But usually this will be able to help you solve this particular error. Uh, just make sure that you have every single thing that you need to basically use remote play. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.